fast-growing alternative fuel project we've been following is now generating renewable natural gas at a pace actually equal to taking thousands of cars off the road. And soon, it may add new sources of energy to the network. It might not be the hike most people would take, but turns out climbing a giant pile of cow manure can offer a stunning view of the future of California's energy landscape. So in 2022, we interconnected uh, our first four projects for renewable natural gas, so that was a huge milestone for us. Christine Cowsert is Senior Vice President for Gas Engineering at PG&E. The utility now has millions of cubic feet of fresh, renewable natural gas flowing through its pipelines, created from methane captured from manure at dairies in the Central Valley, like this one we first profiled last year. And she says the network is growing fast. And so we're leveraging any opportunity we can find to, to bring additional renewable natural gas onto our system. The methane is processed by partner companies like Emetis, which operates a high-tech facility near Modesto and has also laid miles of pipeline. And that gas is then being cleaned up and transmitted into PG&E's uh, uh, pipeline, which runs throughout the state of California and ultimately is going to be used as transportation fuel to replace carbon-based or fossil fuel diesel mainly diesel trucking, which creates a significant amount of vehicle pollution. And while dairies are a significant source of methane, PG&E believes other sources could soon be added to the system as well, including wastewater treatment plants and industrial landfills. Landfills are a huge source of renewable natural gas across the country, and we have ultimately a goal of 15% renewable natural gas in our gas uh, system at PG&E by 2030. For now, it's a goal steadily becoming reality as dozens of dairies dotting the Central Valley go online to feed a fast-growing alternative energy network. And this really is expanding fast. PG&E tells us they have roughly 40 alternative energy projects in the pipeline, so it is moving along, and uh, Larry and Kristen will continue to follow uh, the progress of this very interesting work. Exciting yeah. to hear about. Wave of the future. Thanks, Dan. Exactly.